All right, so I got Call of Duty Black Ops 6, all Jackson Kane scenes in lore. Let's go to TV deal, let's go. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? Compromise academics. Some of it I still find hard to believe. Look at him in a cut, just being a weirdo. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. The group you claim to be the Pantheon... Look at him. ...was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force showed up out of the blue. Bro, are you going to say what's up? I've come to expect this from you. But not from you. Mm. Bringing in a rogue operative Yo, he's just in the cut. Just look. Russell Adler. He's listening to the new Drake and uh, Party Next Door album. My office in five. Uh-oh. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. My bad, y'all. Bro, like, he's not going to say a word. Like, he's just. Oh. Oh, there he is. What's that, man? You really get around. Don't you, Case? Livingston CIA offers. Oh, snap. So he. How did you know? For real? Oh, dang, he alerted everybody. The may be gone, but not the Pantheon. I need you back in Avalon. You think you're still a threat? I do. And worse, whatever Cabal brought Harrow into the Pantheon still lives inside our house. Ah, oh, dang. They were long gone. Bro hacking the mainframe. But it turns out, they never left. Yo. Bro is in a cut hacking a mainframe. Leave from the front. Dude, this guy's a weirdo. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me read this. I'm going to read this real quick, y'all. Uh, nothing matters more than a mission. Oh, okay, so already, I'm just off the first line, I can already tell he's one of those type of guys, like, you know, he's for the mission and by the mission, but it turns out he's probably one of, like one of those guys that like take, they secretly take all the information. He's a weirdo. Uh, Jackson Kane was always destined to be a Marine, inspired by the sacrifices of his father, who returned from Vietnam, a broken man. Oh, man, that's sad. Uh, Kane uh, courageously enlisted at 18. He trained alongside uh, Trey Marshall under the uh, tw tutelage. My bad if I said that word wrong. Of Tamira West Point Chambers, uh, and proved to be okay. Uh, and proved to be a promising soldier, but after his brother was killed in action in Lebanon, the tragedies took their toll. Ah, oh, dang, man! When a mysterious uh, Pathian group uh, reached uh, group reached out to recruit him in the late '80s. Uh, he was already uh, primed to be a perfect instrument of their will. Dang, man. So he just come from a, a place of just, uh, just, just, he come from a broken place, man. Father was in the army. Uh, you know, he, you know, he went through what he went through in the wars, which typically, I mean, that, that's what happens in wars. You know, you, you got like a lot of people that go into war and stuff like that, man. And they come back and some, I like, if they come back and like, I don't want to say that they're broken or nothing. But just like how the thing said, you know, some some veterans, some people that came from the army, some Marines, they come back, you know, with, with, with strong, just heavy PTSD. Some are broken. And this is why, bro, like, you know, and I saw, listen, I don't want to mix up, you know, Twitch drama or nothing into this video because, you know, I don't really talk about drama like that. But I'm going to talk about, you know, just for a little bit, um, this whole thing about, you know, talking about, you know, the American soldiers and stuff like that, that one Twitch streamer out, listen. I'm not even going to mention her name or nothing, but you guys have seen the clips and stuff like that on Twitter. Uh, it's just shameful. Um, I have the utmost respect for uh, my American uh, troops out there um, that are constantly, like, you know, putting on, like, that are constantly just in battle uh, and, and, you know, protecting us, you know. So I'll always have the utmost respect, 1,000 out of 1,000 respect for the American soldiers out there, bro. Like, you will never, ever catch me disrespecting no type of, like, you know, American soldier, because that's just straight, just disrespectful out there. But, um, but with this guy's story right here, man, he, bro, his whole family just broken, like, and I could see why, like, he's kind of like stone and like very strict onto the mission and stuff like that. Uh, but him at the end, it, like he was hacking into something, trying to take the information or whatever. And I actually think that was like the ending 
of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 campaign, which we gotta check out. We gotta check out the full ending. By the way, I have a 30 minute video of the ending, so don't worry. We're gonna you, we're gonna check it out. <laughs> if you really want to. Other than that, man, comment down below, man. What do y'all think about this guy right here, man? He he definitely comes off as a as a suspicious type because he don't really say too much, which technically isn't a bad thing. But characters, you know, who are usually quiet. And a lot of these Call of Duty campaigns, or just just in video games in general, a lot of the quiet characters really just go, you know, unknown, and they kind of like, you know, sneak up on you and do some dirty stuff. So if I'm being honest with you, bro, uh, he does come off as that type. Yo, Kane Jackson, bro, I promise you, this I can already tell it, bro. He probably already like, you know, tricked everybody. He probably was just just in the cut listening to the new Drake and Party Next Door album or whatever, while secretly like taking all the information and stuff like that. He's a schemy guy, bro. Schemy, schemy, schemy. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Please guys like this coming to have a guys on new.